because people want to work with somebody whose time is valuable. Hey everybody, Jay Pitts, broker owner of Remax Premier Properties, and I'm back for another episode of JTP University. Today, we're gonna to give you four tips on how to better manage your time and appointment scheduling. A lot of info, let's jump in. Number one, I'm gonna ask that you categorize the different types of meetings that you have into three categories. Number one, appointments with prospective clients, buyers or sellers. You can go a little deeper, but make sure you at least have buyers or sellers in the number one appointments category. You can even put a number one with a parentheses in the Google Calendar when you put it on your, on your phone. Uh, number two, I want recurring meetings that are preset, pre-scheduled, always in your phone and recurring you know, on a weekly, monthly, or you know, however often kind of basis. Number three is personal events. This is soccer games, this is t-ball, this is you know, date night that you're gonna do once a week with your significant other. Any of those things need to be scheduled and also have a, you know, a, a particular title. Okay, particular category. Number two, you're going to color code each and every one of those categories. Personally, my appointments are in gray. I like that because it kind of blends in with the background and it shows that like it's kind of business as usual. Number two, recurring meetings. I do in a bright color, a green, a purple, something that is going to draw attention to something that happens on an ongoing basis and make sure that you don't forget about those appointments. Anything that you care enough about to put in your calendar deserves to receive some emphasis. Number three is your personal stuff. Pick your favorite color, okay? Mine's not blue, but that's the chip color I chose many years ago. My favorite color is probably red, but you know, red gives me kind of a negative connotation when I see it on a calendar. Blue was something that grabbed my attention right away, and that's going to be your non-negotiables. You're never going to ever see, okay, when you're at your weakest moment and make a bad choice, you're still not ever going to schedule a gray over top of a blue. That is not something that you're going to do. It's going to be non-negotiable within your schedule. All right, number number uh, number three. Let's go on to number three. Uh, schedule similar appointments in slots. Okay, so for example, decide how what works for you in your calendar. Everybody should have a morning routine. What time are you going to start being available? And everybody should have a pretty much a, a routine quitting time that they would like to, you know, build some kind of consistency around so that your family can know what to expect of you as a real estate agent in the business. I like to schedule appointments starting at 10 a.m. Of course, I'll accept an 8 a.m. if I need to, but 10 a.m. is my starting spot. 6 p.m. is about the last one, but I'd really like to even be done before that at the stage I am in my career. I would recommend offering a 10 a.m., a 1 p.m., a 4 p.m., and also make sure that you offer those slots on similar days. I like to offer certain slots on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Monday, Wednesday. I like to offer other slots on Tuesday, Thursday. So what this does is create the appearance of a, which it really is a system, but within your clients and how you convey it, um, it's going to create the appearance of a system of, of, of order. You know, and it's going to lend some legitimacy to you as an agent because people want to work with somebody whose time is valuable. This is the appearance you're going to give by having slots. When they ask for your time, you're going to say, oh, I have a 10 a.m. available on Tuesday or I have a 4 p.m. available on Thursday. Those are options better than the alternative choice clothes that is really cheesy where you say, would Tuesday at 1 be better or Thursday at 5 be, be more optimal? Those are bad Bad situations, bad word tracks. It's 1980s, cheesy sales. You don't want to go into it. Last but not least, and this kind of you know dovetails with the last point, create the perception of desirability. When you start to speak to a client about scheduling something, okay, speak first. Be the first one to offer a prospective time. What this is going to allow you to do is start your scheduling process and your dialogue with this person on your own terms. Okay, It's going to allow you to be the person who drives the bus. It's going to set the stage for the rest of the interaction, the rest of the relationship. You know, It's going to show them that you're willing to usher them or shepherd them through the process. The negotiation's gonna go smoother. The price reductions are gonna come easier. You're gonna get the listing price you want. You're gonna help them understand when this is a house that they need to jump on right now because it's gonna be sold tomorrow. You're, you're inserting legitimacy, confidence, and a steady hand into the process. Also, if you happen to not be able to speak first because 
this is usually worse via text or email. Somebody just gets to you first. Hey, Jay, I saw 123 Main Street. I'd like to see it Friday at 4. Okay, Friday at 4 is usually not going to work for me. I'm not going to be very happy about that because I like to take off and see my family on Friday evenings. Okay, I would recommend that even if you are willing to accept the time suggested, that you alter that slightly. Oh, no, I'm sorry, 4 doesn't work, but I could do 3.30. I have, I have somewhere to be at 6. Okay, or I have a Little League game. I have to be at 6. 3.30 would work. Just that 30 minutes, okay, is not a lot. It's probably not too much to ask of the client, and they may tell you that it doesn't work for them. But just that, just that redirect of changing the suggested appointment time by 30 minutes allows you to regain control of the interaction. Once again, in review, categorize your appointments into meetings with prospective clients, recurring meetings, and personal events. Color code them based on you know a system that you decide is works for you. I want them to be very obvious what is what at a glance when you look at your calendar. Uh, offer slots, not, not just whatever's open in your calendar. I have a 1, a 10 a.m., a 4 p.m., Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, what have you, but offer slots. It gives the appearance that there is a system and an order to the way, they, to the way you work. And also, be the first to speak. Convey a sense of desirability because your time is valuable. Your time is valuable. You're going to be the first one to speak and offer the appointment time. And lastly, if you have to change the slot, change it slightly and re-grab control of that interaction. Hope you guys can use this. Uh, put it to work in your business right here today. Thank you for tuning in to JTP University. We'll be back soon.